Welcome to Premath. In this video, we are going to calculate the area of this given quadrilateral ABCD on the coordinate plane such that our vertex A is negative 4, negative 2, the vertex B is negative 3, negative 5, vertex C is 3, negative 2, and finally our vertex D is 2, 3. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And in this video, I am going to show you two different uh, approaches to solve this given problem. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first uh, method. So let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and label uh, these vertices. Let me call this vertex A as X1, Y1. Likewise, vertex B, I'm going to call it X2, Y2. This I'm going to call X3, Y3. And finally, this uh, vertex D, I'm going to call X4, comma, Y4. And now let's recall the area of a quadrilateral uh, formula. We are going to use uh, this formula that involves this uh, matrix, as you can see over here. So therefore, the area of this uh, quadrilateral ABCD is going to be equal to a half times this uh, vertex A, vertex B, vertex C, vertex D. And then uh, we're going to put this uh, vertex A once again to complete the loop. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this quadrilateral is going to be 1 divided by 2 outside times in this matrix I'm going to put down negative 4 negative 2 the next one is going to be negative 3 negative 5 3 comma negative 2 and this is 2 3 and finally once again for a it's going to be a negative 4 negative 2 and here's our next step. Uh, let's go ahead and multiply these uh, diagonally, these uh, numbers uh, the way I'm doing right now. So negative 4 times negative 5 is going to give us uh, positive 20. This uh, negative 3 times negative 2 is going to give us uh, positive 6. 3 times 3 is going to give us uh, 9. And finally, 2 times negative 2 is going to give us uh, negative 4. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and add uh, all uh, these numbers if we add this one that is going to give us uh, 31 isn't it now we are going to multiply diagonally the other way around this way this way this way and finally this way let's go ahead and multiply out these numbers negative 3 times negative 2 is going to give us a positive 6 3 times negative 5 is going to give us a negative 15 2 times negative 2 is going to be negative 4 and uh, finally negative 4 times 3 is going to give us uh, negative 12 and here's our next step let's go ahead and add all uh, these uh, numbers up and if we add everything up that is going to give us uh, negative 25 so therefore our area of this quadrilateral abcd is going to be 1 divided by 2 is uh, outside and now I'm going to write down uh, this number uh, 31 uh, first and then minus uh, this number uh, negative uh, 25 uh, over here and now we can see this negative and negative is going to make a positive uh, 25 so therefore this is going to become uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 31 uh, plus uh, 25 that is equal to 1 divided by 2 times uh, 56 that is going to give us uh, 28 so that's the area of this uh, quadrilateral a b c d turns out to be 28 uh, square units now let me go over one uh, crucial scenario what if this uh, area turns out to be negative 28 and we know that the area is always positive so no matter what uh, the sign is so the area is going to be always positive and now let me go ahead and share with you the second uh, method and here we have constructed uh, this uh, rectangle uh, efgh that uh, circumscribed uh, this uh, quadrilateral uh, a b c d so as a result we ended up with uh, four triangles let me label this triangle number one triangle number two 
triangle number three, and finally triangle uh, number four. Let's assume the area of this first triangle is uh, a sub one, area of this triangle is a sub two, area of this triangle is uh, a sub three, and finally the area of this triangle is uh, a sub 4. And now let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that the area of this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD is uh, going to be equal to the area of this whole uh, rectangle uh, EFGH uh, minus uh, the sum of uh, these uh, areas A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4 as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore, our task is to calculate the areas a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4 along with the area of this rectangle EFGH. Just keep in your mind that all these uh, triangles are uh, right uh, triangles. And now let's focus on these two vertices uh, A and uh, C. Let's focus on these uh, x points uh, negative 4 and uh, 3 so that is going to tell us uh, that this horizontal distance is uh, 7 units so therefore both sides of this uh, rectangle is going to be 7 units and now let's focus on these uh, vertices uh, d and uh, b let's focus on these uh, y points 3 and uh, negative 5 that is going to give us our vertical distance as 8 units so therefore our vertical distance turns out to be 8. Now if we focus on this uh, vertex D and C, we can see that this uh, distance uh, is 1. If this tiny distance is 1, the whole distance is 7. So this uh, distance has got to be 6. And likewise if we look at all these uh, segments, we can see that this uh, segment is 5 units. This is going to be 3. Likewise, this is going to be 6 units. This is going to be a 1. And this is going to be 3 units. And this is going to be 5 units. Now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this rectangle EFGH. Now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area equals to length third times width. And in our case, uh, the dimensions for this uh, rectangle are uh, 7 and 8. So therefore, the area of this rectangle EFGH is going to be our length is 7 and our width is 8 and that is going to give us 56 square units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the areas of these uh, individual triangles. Uh, a sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, and uh, A sub 4. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. So let's go ahead and calculate the area A sub 1 whose base is 1 and the height is uh, 3. Let's go ahead and fill in this blank in this formula. So this is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 1 times uh, 3 and if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 1.5 square units now let's go ahead and calculate the area a sub 2 whose base is 6 and height is 3 so therefore i can write 1 divided by 2 times 6 times 3 and that is going to give us 9 and now let's calculate this a sub 3 whose base is 1 and height is 5. So let's go ahead and write down 1 divided by 2 times 1 times 5. And if we simplify that is going to give us 2.5. And finally let's calculate this area a sub 4 whose dimensions are 6 and 5 for this triangle. So therefore the area for this triangle is going to be 1 over 2 times 5 times 6 and if we simplify that thing that is going to give us 15. Now let's go ahead and add up all these individual areas. So let's go ahead and add them up that is going to give us 1.5 plus 9 plus 2.5 plus 15 and if we add them up that is going to give us 28 square units. So thus the sum of these individual areas of the triangle turns out to be 28. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, quadrilateral ABCD. We figured out our area of this uh, rectangle EFGH. This turns out to be 56. And the sum of these individual uh, triangle areas is uh, 
28. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the area of this quadrilateral ABCD is going to be 56 minus 28. And if we subtract that thing, that is going to give us 28 square units. So that's the area of this quadrilateral ABCD turns out to be 28 square units. So that's the area of this quadrilateral ABCD turns out to be 28 square units by using both methods. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.